All right, what is up guys? This is going to be one of the most important lessons and this is what we have taken out of all of this eBay to Amazon and what exactly we do in terms of this. This is the account health. One of the most important, 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 I can't stride that enough, um, videos that we're gonna have on, on this section, right? Um, so with that being said, let me, let me actually Amazon's account. There we go. It's a bit better. There we go. Now you can see our complete thing. You can see exactly what we do. Since we are the innovators, we are the pioneers of the eBay Amazon method. We have taken all of the blows and the attacks from brands and found out what exactly to do and not to do. Once we have cleaned these things up, we have had not any policy violations, knock on wood, um, so far. Right. And I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing and exactly how we got all these um, all, all these uh, violations and what ones actually hurt your account and what ones don't hurt your account, how things to fix things and how not to get these because we have taken all of the brunt action on all these items for you guys. Um, again, let me go into it and I will show you exactly. I'm going to go through each each one, right? Suspect intellectual violation. This doesn't hurt your account too much at all. This is Amazon's bot saying that they might have a violation. Um, let me show you the ones that we got this one with. Um, we got this Black and Decker. Um, this Black and Decker actually was um, the see listing removed. Not too big of a deal. Next steps: edit. How do I, how can I address this issue? You can edit this, and it becomes easier to get off. But why this happened is because this Black and Decker. Somebody made another listing, and then we jumped on the listing. We got hit with a um, a claim. It's not too big of a deal on that one. Um, this one's the more important ones right here. So received intellectual property complaints. This happened twice. This is from private label brands, private label brands. These ones actually matter. As you can see, if, if you have the appeal steps, this is, a, this is something that actually is not fun and not cool to go down with. This broad link, broad link is a private brands. I'll show you exactly, I'll show you exactly these products and why they, we gotten flagged and why we got in our account hit with these items here, right? So let me go into this broad link. Let me go to Amazon. And again, guys and gals, if this, oops, if this matches this, do not buy it. If this, matches this do not buy it also another telltale sign is if there's only one or two users look somebody, somebody tried to jump on this listing and they got hit with a they hit with the claim right claim claim all these are claims based on because this brand is not only selling their products so this is a way to not get these inauthentic complaints and complaints right so that's very 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 useful information this is some of the most important stuff that we're going to show you here again the baby monitor viva viva Fuck, it's called these assholes. Um, 270p. Here we go. Here's another one. Um, I think I actually need to go to. This actually does matter, guys, on the side point. Okay, here it is right here. Uh, right here. This is the one we got hit with as well. Again, Vava, Vava. Again, same exact thing. You can tell it's a telltale sign. If it has a high or low ranking, and only one person is selling it, right? One person, two people. Like they're having trouble right here, trying to get people off. You can tell that pretty easily. Like people are trying, to, people are just trying to draw price on them. Interesting. Two or one, or if you see any of this kind of stuff, if if a product is moving this fast with this low rank, oh, freaking five hundred in baby products, and there's only one person is selling it, and on top of this, sold by, sold by. It is a telltale sign you should not be on this listing. That's how you get attacked and that's how you get kicked off. Next, product authenticity complaints. Um, this one, the only one that actually is impossible to get rid of is this one right here. This one it was a guy. If, so the baseline story of this is we sold this product right here, this ad belt, this flexible toner, all original, all whatever. We sold like, we probably sold 150 of them. One guy said it, it didn't work, so it was fake. Um, what happened there is since he hit us with that, um, with that we can still we can still relist it. We can still relist this, um, but this we got hit with this claim because this person is a thief, and um, I even said I even messaged him like, hey, I'm more than happy to refund you, and I'll send you another one. I sent them two more, two more brand units from Amazon themselves, actually from Amazon.com, the Amazon in the them right. 
and he said the first one didn't work, the second one didn't work, the third one finally magically worked, and then he removed the listing or he removed the bad feedback after two, three weeks of um, getting off. So we got the feedback taken off, but we did not get this taken off. You can obviously relist this, relist this one as well. These Jaybirds X2s, these ones were the same situation. Um, if people don't, um, if these ones are here, you can tell again, this is a no go. If this happens, I'll show you exactly what it is. Um, you're going to get hit with a high chance of getting hit with a claim. If you go into people selling it, you go to new, ah, oh, shop and gather. So what happened with us? I'm not sure if it's this listing or a different one, different one. This one had these Jaybirds owners on it. There's nothing you really can do about this one. Um, again, it's kind of it's kind of just like the luck of the draw in terms of that. But as you can see, after two of them, we haven't got hit with anything yet. Shop and Gather is going to get slammed one of these times with um, that. Just some customer things that they know they're smart and thinking that stuff's fake. Those are the only things that you're only possible to get off of and really control. Product condition complaints. This one is used as new this is the problem we had beforehand um this is this is one thing that we weren't taking really this is one thing we'll all take the blame for for sure and we were actually sending in products that were on the iffy side in terms of actually being able to sell um some products were open we we're just like circle sticking around them or like listings were removed because once really the only one that actually became problematic and we got reviews by was this one here um was that one right there that's the only one that we had problems with was at Zygzel, and then after that, like we we kept everything clean as clean as a whistle. If you guys want to buy anything on this, like more than more than happy to. These ones are one of the only things that really matter in terms of that. But once you if you sell if you sell stuff that isn't open box, we were kind of going the open box side. Like we were kind of in that that gray area, open box area. That's why I'll take full blame for these ones, except for this fucking Zygzel. We bought these from the manufacturer. Um, but these ones are more open boxed. Um, just don't sell in the open box. Easy way to solve that. Nothing open boxed. Again, nothing open boxed. Um, product safety. We haven't any of these. Listing policy violations. This one's an interesting one. Um, as you can see, they are all pet safe. What happened here is Voyers, Voyes, the law firm, and pet safe are just d-bags and they submitted a claim saying that we stole these even though we didn't we we sent them our ebay invoices and they they didn't hit us with um they didn't hit us with the stolen stuff um but these ones here these ones are because we took more than three we were on um the we got the cease and desist letters from voyeurs more than three times on the same product that's when they hit us with these stolen ones and you can tell on these ones so if you go to there's probably a bunch of people on this guy told everybody about it um again if you're on this i said do not do it more than two times if you're on this one here pet safe limited deal oh my god funny 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 um this one here you can see the people selling it one telltale signs this is what um it's like a conglomerate another man's treasure that's funny um this one's a conglomerate in terms of like look at all these prices are all the same it means these guys are signing a uh, uh these guys sign a deal stating that they um that they uh that they can they are the only people that can sell this and they have to sell at this price it's an easy way to get around that um another man's treasure i'm going to copy your store um i like i like this guys stuff any positive feedback not bad um flexible blue high chances in ebay and amazon are high chance sorry if, sorry if this is you you about to get taken advantage of not bad not bad product so this is a perfect product list really yeah honestly this is a good this is this is a good one um, but yeah, on this section, that's the reason why we got this. If you have more than three voyeurs complaints and then they'll start fucking attacking you as much as they possibly can. This, these aren't too big of a deal, um, but they're not the best, right? And then restricted policy violation. These ones don't matter at all. Um, oh, you just close the listing. They'll do this automatically. Here's some products if you want to use them. Um, you can't really sell them, but okay, that's fine. Um, these ones, these ones are, um, these ones don't matter at all to your account. They just take the listing off and the listing's been removed. So that's not too big of a deal. But this happened because for some reason, let's say the FDA or whatever said like there's some sort of restriction on these. 
um, it is a good way to um, Amazon will then block restrict these products and make pull restricted violation policy. Those are the really ways that you can hit with um, these product violations. Again, the only ones that actually can you don't have control over is product authentic. This one here and then this one here. This one here doesn't matter at all. This one the only thing that matters. Um, yep. So that's the only thing that that's the only thing you really can't control. And it's under control. So this is the only thing you need to worry about. What can happen is somebody's gonna what, what happens with this? Somebody's gonna post a feedback and say this is product's fake. You need to just message them back like, hey, here's a full refund, um, blah, 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 and try to solve the issue. We probably had another one of these or another, probably maybe two more um, that we could have gotten hit with, but um, um, but, but yeah, so that's kind of, that's kind of the key, um, in terms of this whole thing, right? So make sure it's counts clean as you see what we've, what we have, we're still, we're still in business. We're still moving. We're still going strong. That's kind of the thought process on this best case scenario and keep moving forward. Remember just plug, plug, plug away and keep processing and keep, keep moving forward. Again, this is a new, this is a new industry. That's why we've taken all the brunts for you so you guys don't have to take them at all. Keep your account safe. You can always, you can always do some other stuff. Catch up.